Hi everyone, I'm Laura. Welcome back to my channel. I post weekly videos about all things yoga. So please, if you enjoyed this one, do like and subscribe for more yoga inspired content. This podcast style video celebrates the spring equinox, which marks the beginning of spring in the Northern Hemisphere. We look at what the spring equinox is and how we can maximize this season's energy. I also have a guided meditation for you to help you really connect to spring. So what is the spring equinox? The spring equinox happens around the 20th of March and it's when our day and night are equal and it's a big celebration day. So the winter solstice was the shortest day of the year and since then the days have been getting longer and on the equinox the earth is in a moment of complete balance. Light and dark are in perfect harmony and it's a time of rebirth for the natural world. Spring is a time for new beginnings, growth and renewal. And it's also a time for rejuvenation and transformation. We are moving away from the inward focused time of winter, which has lots of yin energy. And yin energy is very nurturing and intuitive. In winter, we spend a lot of time resting and relaxing and being a bit more quiet. If you think about the animals going into hibernation in winter. And with spring, we are moving away from that yin energy and into yang energy, where our focus shifts from our inward world to our, the outside world with much more excitement, heat and movement. So here are some tips for how you can work with this season's energy. So first things first, go slow. So you may think, hang on a minute, you just said spring is all about growth and action, which it is, but in early spring and at the time of the equinox, we just, we just, are beginning to transform into that yang energy. So it's more about the planning stage for our growth. So if you're feeling a little overwhelmed by not having loads of energy, that's absolutely okay. We have just come out of winter. We first need to wake up, have a coffee, and plan what we are going to do. So just go really slow and easy on yourself. So secondly, it is a time for planning to relaunch and restart. So this is a time to really solidify plans and take decisive actions towards manifesting our intentions. So we really want to be embracing this period of transition and transformation as the yang energy of spring continues to gather momentum, it propels us towards this vibrant and active season of summer. However, we can't do everything at once. So around the equinox, we really want to get clear on our goals. Perhaps you might want to focus on your relationships or something in your work life, or you might want to be trying something completely new. So really get clear on what you want to focus on. And in line with this planning stage, journaling is my next tip, as it can be really helpful to get clarity and focus. And I popped some journal prompts down below. So please do pause this video if you want to spend some time on the questions. Perhaps just write down for three minutes with each one. So the first is, what do you feel drawn towards? So where do you want to direct this new spring for fresh energy? And second, what big dreams do I have? 
So vision boards can be really helpful here. So really get clear on your dreams. So you can then just place your energy in a clear direction. And where do things feel out of balance? Remember the equinox is all about balance. And reflecting on where we may feel out of balance is going to be really helpful to get back into alignment so you can drive forward any project or goals you may have from an aligned place. Remember, we always want to get into alignment before we act. So my next tip is to get outside. Winter is over, it's time to get outside again. Go for a walk or run and just breathe in the fresh spring energy and welcome it and welcome it all in. And notice what the natural world's doing. You will notice that the natural world is starting to grow. So really enjoy the daffodils and the fresh buds on the trees. This can then encourage you to bloom and flourish in your life, just like the flowers around us at springtime. And lastly, yoga. And of course, this wouldn't be tips from me if we didn't include yoga. So I encourage you to do lots of grounding practices at this time. So really reconnecting with the physical body. Our bodies have been resting over winter, So really connect with what your body needs. And I will link some of my yoga videos in the comments, which might be helpful. So remember that trees need strong roots to grow. So I would include lots of grounding poses, such as tree pose into your practice. This is really gonna aid that energetic connection with nature and this new season. You could include archer pose. This is very a grounding pose, but energizing. So it can really connect us and then help us manifest what we want. And then I would spend some time in rock pose during your meditations, just to really improve concentration and get clarity and focus on where you're going to direct your energy. So we're now going to come into a very short springtime guided meditation. So come into a comfy position, lying on your back, or sat up in a cushion or chair, whatever works for you. And have your eyes gently closed, shoulders back and down. And you can pop some spring flowers near you or maybe open a window to let in the cool air and just bring your awareness to your breath unclench your jaw and breathe inhaling deeply exhaling fully and if a thought comes into your mind thank your mind for that thought and just let it go And I invite you to imagine you are going on a spring walk. This can be anywhere, perhaps a forest or park. Gently bring your attention to the sun. Enjoy and embrace the sunshine and allow the sun to warm and energize you as you feel gratitude for these longer days.
and bring your attention to the nature around you. See all the beautiful flowers waking up and blooming, feeling excited and rejuvenated about the new beginnings. Hear the birds singing gently and sweetly and smell the freshly cut grass. Now focus on your own growth. Where would you like to grow this spring season? Perhaps in your work life, relationships. What's on your vision board? And breathe into those feelings. It doesn't matter if you don't quite know how to achieve these goals. But just feel what you are being drawn to. What do you want to try this spring season? What new beginnings and fresh opportunities do you want to embrace? And you are welcome to stay in this meditation for as long as you need. But when you are ready, wriggle your fingers and toes and stretch your body in an intuitive way. You are waking up from the restful winter season, ready to bloom and grow. Satnam, my friends, and see you in my next one.